What's up with the YouTube? This is your boy King Bound, and we are back with another YouTube video, man. I hope everybody is having a good Thursday because I'm having a good Thursday, and you know every day is a good day, man. You know you just gotta stay, stay, try to have positive vibes, man. And that's what I'm trying to do all year long, man. So we going we gonna run this up together, man. Real talk. I just wanna, you know, always I do this in some of my videos, but I'm trying to do it more in all of my videos. I just want to pretty much just say, man, that I appreciate all of my supporters and my subscribers, man, for tuning in to my channel. I really do appreciate y'all so much because we are hitting milestones after milestones, man, and that's just a blessing from God. So, you know, thank y'all so much, and I also want to say that if you are new to this channel, man, make sure that you come. Man, well. First, before you do that, you need to subscribe to my channel and then hit the notification bell because you don't want to miss anything on my channel. And then after that, just, you know, comment and like as well. And then hope you guys enjoy the video. Pretty much is all I got to say after that. And today's video, we pretty much going to be, this is going to be a WWE video that we're going to be watching. Our first WWE video that I'm going to be reacting to, I should say, on my channel. And it's 12 Unexpected Times Shawn Michaels hit Sweet Chant Music. Now, I don't know how many of y'all still watch wrestling now, but I know I used to watch wrestling back when it was popping. It's not really, it's not, I mean, it's probably still popping, but I don't, I don't think it's the shit like it was back then, if that makes sense. But, um, Shawn Michaels is like one of my top 10 WWE superstars of all time, like, He's a Hall of Famer, a legend, an icon, and he's Mr. WrestleMania, so you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I'm going to be reacting to him, Sweet Chin Music 12 of his, you know, competitors, and we're going to get a good reaction out of this, man, and I hope y'all get a good, you know, I hope y'all get a good reaction, too, out of this, too, and, uh, you know, let's pretty much see which 12 unexpected Sweet Chin Musics that they used, and, you know, me, I don't like stalling. But I do want to make sure I get down to the needy greedy on my channel, and that's all that, that's all that matters. So, without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and get started on this video. Just stay if you are watching this video, though. I just encourage you to please watch this video all the way to the end. Please do that for me. Can you watch it all the way to the end? All the way to the end. Do that for me, please. And let's go ahead and get into this. I gotta pause that. All right, I don't know if y'all hear the commentators, but you know they the best two commentators that WWE has ever had, and it's Jerry the King Lawler and Jim Ross, J aka Jr. And Jr. just got done saying, "Oh my God in heaven," because as y'all seen it with y'all own eyes, like the, the guy right there, Sheldon Benjamin. Tried to do some hot flyer shit off top of the ropes and end up regretting it and paying for it by getting Sweet Champ music out of nowhere. And this was back in 06, I want to say. Either 05 or 06 is when this when this match happened. So oh, that's a long time from now. But it's always good to have memories like that, you know, to look back on. You know what I'm saying? But that was a nasty Sweet Champ music. Let me just say that too. Mm. Just imagine getting hit with one of those in midair, just like that. Whew. <laughs> I don't know, man. All I know is that that's probably one of the best Sweet Champ musics, unexpected Sweet Champ music that Shawn Michaels has ever did. And that's probably one of my favorites so far in this video. We're going to go ahead and get back into this video and see if we can find some more, though. don't know what controversy What do you mean we don't know controversy? No, that's you what he said. Me, we we don't know I don't controversy. believe this. We don't know hey, it. Keep the, you, buddy, what's your name? Stan. Stan. Oh, <laughs> yeah. See, I just kicked Stan. Yeah. Calm down, Sean. Don't tell me to calm down. Nobody tells me that I don't know controversy. You got to be. Ooh. Ooh. Just like all the other competitors in this video, John Cena did not see that coming, and neither did them. 
But I will say this though. Um this video, this clip right here is actually back it's actually back from 07. And this was when John Cena and Shawn Michaels had a feud and they were actually supposed to be tag team partners too cuz they they won the tag team titles this year. And this was the same year John Cena went against Shawn Michaels for the WWE Championship at WrestleMania. And as y'all can see, the person that they were double teaming right there was Batista, and this was a two, this was a tag team match on Raw. It was John Cena, Shawn Michaels versus Undertaker and Batista. And uh, I remember uh, Undertaker and Batista had a feud too. And this was the same year that Undertaker won the Royal Rumble match, and the same year that he whooped Batista at WrestleMania to still retain his undefeated streak, and that's pretty much, pretty much it. I mean, you know, that's pretty much how the matches were. Like, if you was feuding against somebody, they will put you on the same team as that person. And then y'all have to go against another two, two guys that were feuding against each other. And it was like pretty much enemy and enemy versus enemy and enemy. Like, you literally was t teaming up with your enemy. And then after that, like a couple of days later or a week later, y'all had a big match for a title or just a big match in general. But that's usually how WWE d d did it. I don't know if they do it now because, like I said, I don't watch WWE anymore. But if they do, then hey, you know what I'm saying? But we're going to go ahead and get back into this. Make your music on John Cena out of nowhere. Where did that come from? Sean, you're fired. Mr. McMahon has fired Shawn Michaels that, as commissioner. That was great. Look, he took it like a man. He's a, oh, sweet Ooh. chin music for Shawn, but sweet chin music to Mr. McMahon. Shawn is knocked out the owner of the World no Wrestling sense. Federation. Oh, oh, sweet chin music. What in the world? Oh, oh, I told you, King. I told you. What? I told you. His face told the whole story. And I'm gonna pause that and just say this: that was back when The Rock, before The Rock went Hollywood, and also this was this looked like this was about, I want to say about '98, '99. Mm. Maybe 97, but it, it's, it's, it's definitely a 90s, though. Definitely the 90s, of course. And the Rock! What? My God! Did you? What did we just see? Oh, the man. The can't place right on it. It's the chin. Oh, oh, God! <laughs> even, though, even though he kind of didn't do it right, it still was crazy how he... How Shane McMahon was finna go for the coast to coast and then just got out of nowhere in mid-air sweet chin music. And like I said in the beginning of the video, man, just imagine getting hit with one of those in mid-air, man. Like, whew. Man. We're gonna get back into this video, though. For the love of God, in mid-air, Michael's got sweet chin music. <laughs> he sure did. Razor's taller. Razor just got it. You can play on our team any day of the week. So I started to think to myself, Oh, God! What? Jeez! Michael just super kicked Booker T's head off! What the hell? All of these guys in this video got a mouthful of foot, man. Out of nowhere. But I'm going to just say this. for I feel sorry for all of them, including Sheldon Benjamin, which was the first guy, because... I'm, I'm, I don't care, like, so far in this video, that is the, that is the best one, like, 
Mid air, sweet chill music. I'm still tripping off of that, man. I'm sleep. But we're going to go ahead and get right back into this video, though. Good grief! I thought to myself, well, you're the problem. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the Specialist. See, one without the other isn't any good. Oh, oh I knew he was going to do that. I just knew he was going to do that. Man, there y'all have it, man. That is the reaction that y'all wanted to see. That was the 12 unexpected Sweet Chim Musics from Shawn Michaels. And I'm going to just say this. Shawn Michaels is definitely one of those guys that you can trust in the beginning, but then at the end you kind of got to watch out for him because, like, like you just seen in those in those clips, he can switch up on you just like that. Like he went from Sweet Champ using his tag team partners that be, he been friends with for decades to going Sweet Champ music people that he known him pretty much his whole, whole life. You know what I'm saying? Like it's just you know it's just crazy. So you just gotta he's one of them guys you really gotta watch out for. But out of all respect. He's still one of the most respected icons of Hall of Famers of WWE, and he's still one of my top 10 favorite guys. And I enjoyed this video. I had a, This was a good reaction. Y'all let me know what y'all thought about this reaction this video. And um, I think that's all I got for y'all, man. I might be posting up something later on tonight. So all I say is y'all make sure y'all got y'all post notification turned on and make sure that y'all tune into my channel because I'm one of the littiest YouTubes of all YouTube channels. So y'all want to make sure y'all stay tuned to your boy. But... Anyway, I'm probably I'm finna go ahead and get out of here, man. Y'all have a good Thursday. I'll see y'all in the next video. This your boy King Bound. Until then, peace. I'm out.